Last time we spoke, I was living in a nightmare with no conclusion. At the end, I said it was either we do a flash drive, which was a cheaper option, or we do the official, unofficial replacement of the hard drive. But I didn't know that there was a third option that was better than both, that was cheap and would replace the hard drive. And that is this adapter that I bought on Amazon for $11, which takes a standard SSD like this 240 gig Kingston one that was $30, put it right in here, and then that allows you to use a standard SSD instead of the specific Apple ones. And then I bought these screwdrivers because I had to have the specific pentalobe ones for the Mac. But all together, that brought the total to $49. Now we just gotta hope this works as we get this repair on and tech it out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take out all these screws from the bottom. First thing we want to do is disconnect the battery here. So just grab this tab. And you pull that up. Battery is now disconnected. So let's go ahead right now and get this new drive put into the bracket. So the first thing we want to do is undo the screw here and these correspond to different size SSDs. So I got the biggest one supported by this bracket, which is the 2280. It also supports 2260, 2242, and 2230. So I'm just gonna slide that in here. Make sure it has a nice and firm connection. And you wanna make sure that this goes around, down and around the screw threading here. If not, there is a smaller size that's included. If that doesn't work. All right, so we got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the screw here. So this is installed on the board. Now this I'm having an issue with. Apparently this might not use the same size screwdriver, which would just suck. Cause I came all this way for nothing. All right, so I legit had to run to Home Depot and get the right screwdriver to remove the hard drive because did not do enough research. So the outside uses Apple's weird proprietary screwdriver. And then the inside uses a regular T5 Torx screwdriver, which I didn't have the regular screwdriver, I had the weird proprietary one. So I got access into the system. But then once I got in, I couldn't do anything. But it's fine, so I'm gonna go ahead, get this hard drive out, I'm gonna spray it out with this canned air, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the new hard drive. the Toshiba hard drive that came out of here, the ones that are known to have the, the issue that caused it to fail. The only thing I'm wary of with this is this particular adapter does seem to cause the hard drive to bend a bit, so I don't like that personally. Uh, 
it's not too bad. I mean, I haven't personally used one of these hard drives before in, one of my, in any of my builds, so that might just be how it is. But we'll see. We'll see how this works. Go ahead and reconnect the battery here. Alright, so we got everything back together here. All the screws are back into place. The only thing that we have left to do is to boot this thing back up, go into recovery mode, and see if we can find the hard drive there. So I'm doing command option R again. All right, internet recovery is starting. All right, so far we got all the normal stuff. So hopefully recognizes this drive and we can all move on with our lives. There it is, disk utility, let's go. This is gonna be, this is gonna see if all of our work was for nothing and bam. It wasn't because here it is, our 240 gig Kingston SSD. We're gonna go ahead and erase this. And then we're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna name this Mac OS. So that way we'll reformat it. And look at that, we got our disc working. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and get Mac OS installed, get it all pretty and beautiful, get it updated, and get it back to my friend. But we did find a solution to the problem that it was around 49-ish dollars. I had to buy the second screwdriver, but I'm not gonna count that into the cost because honestly, if I would've looked up and saw, or well, if I would've remembered that I need two different screwdrivers, I could've just ordered a pack that came with both of them, most likely, because I didn't have like repair kits and stuff. And it might have been like a dollar more instead of me having to run the Home Depot and pay six dollars. Completely my fault, so I'm not going to factor that into the cost. But if you do happen to have a 2012 MacBook Pro and you have a hard drive failure, I'd say this is definitely a viable option. They do have some cheaper adapters on eBay. This adapter, this hard drive adapter, is about eleven dollars. But if you're not, if you're looking for around the same amount of space, I think technically this might have had like a 256 gig drive. This is 240, so it's a little bit less space but not really that much to cry about for a $30 drive. So I'm happy. I'm sure my friend will be happy. And I'd be happy if you enjoyed this video that you tell a friend and tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe. And remember to always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.